right, so let's film the book. Want to do an intro kind of deal or with a theme song? I forgot to write a theme song. I'll lay down the beat. Okay, good. And then you (laughs) just freestyle. Oh, this, yeah, all right. I can do that. Yeah, I can totally do that. Hey, everybody, I'm Michael Schaub. I'm Janet Potter. And this is the Book Report, the Internet's literary talk show. Once a month on uh, the Book Report, Michael and I are going to read the same book and talk about it. And we decided for our inaugural episode to read Red or Dead by David Peace. Michael, how would you describe Red or Dead? It's, uh, it, I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's a great book. It is not the kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's a kind of weird, uh, James Joycean kind of, uh, prose that it's not normally my thing, but I really got, uh, taken in by it. Uh, it's, it, it's fascinating. It's about, uh, soccer and about the Liverpool football club in the sixties and seventies, uh, which is a subject I did not know anything about. Uh, now I do. Yeah, but uh, it's it's a it's a great book. It's a, a just really unusual. I think I should read an example of what yeah. we're talking about. So this is a passage where Bill is cleaning up in the kitchen after dinner. Yeah. In the house, in their kitchen, Bill got up from the table. Bill picked up the plates. Ness got up from the kitchen table. Ness walked out of the kitchen. Bill put the plates in the sink. Bill walked back over to the kitchen table. Ness went into the front room. Ness sat down in her chair. Bill picked up the salt and pepper pots. Bill put them in the cupboard. Okay, did you know the the writing style before you started reading it? No, not at all. (laughs) Me either. (laughs) Yeah, that it was kind of a shock. (laughs) It was. It's a very uh, repetitive uh, style. He. You know, basically describes each game or match, as yeah. they say, uh, the exact same way, and it's it's very repetitive, and which sounds like an insult. It's not. It's it's repetitive by design. The first words of the book are repetition, repetition, repetition. Yes. Did you notice that? I, I no, you know, I actually didn't until you just said that. But now that, uh, and God, that's really fitting. It's on so many levels. Yeah. You know, the prose is so repetitive, and Shankly's... Had we only you know, known. Practice. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Bill Shankly, I guess yeah. we should go back and say... Um, so Bill Shankly was a football player from mm-hmm. Scotland, and yeah. then became a manager when his playing, playing, reti- playing career was over. Um, and he became the manager of Liverpool in 1959. I believe so, yeah. And they were uh, a second division team... And then uh, um, within a few years, got them um, promoted to the first division. Mm-hmm. And then uh, over the next 10 years or so, they won many, many championships. Right. So he kind of pulled them up from obscurity and made them an amazing team. His mind is just a different sort of place than the rest of our minds. <laughs> it, seriously. And that's exactly, that's why I think uh, Peace did such a great job because he, he really is a unique uh unique guy with a unique way of thinking and the style is so unique it's uh you know i said it's kind of joycey and it's it, like you said though maybe it's just a real postmodern uh kind of thing which is usually not the kind of frankly prose i go for you know with the sort of repetitive kind of uh i uh, think but, but for this it just draws you in it it really captures this guy really well i think it would be so easy to write a book about bill shankly and i'm sure people have they sure. just like talk about like how inspiring he was or like how talented he was, what a genius he was. Yeah. And um, I like that David Peace brings this perspective where he's like, the life of a great man is just like, get out of bed, go to work, do your work, go home. Get Absolutely. out of bed, go to work, do a good job, go home. And then like, win a game, win a game, win a game, win a game, win a game. Like, yeah. you get this, you get this like, like visceral sense of how long a winning season takes. He did such a great job uh, drawing Shankly to the point. I think I might have told you this, but it uh, it was only I think after I finished the book that it occurred to me to look up Bill Shankly on YouTube. I know we were talking about that. Uh, yeah. You know, to say like, what did this guy? And he, uh, you know, I'd seen pictures of him, but he uh, looked and sounded when I saw the clips of him talking on YouTube exactly the way I thought he did. 
and I think it's just because he did such a great job describing him in his speech patterns yeah. that when you know I saw him, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's him. That's exactly what I envisioned. I did find, yeah, YouTube videos and interviews with Bill Shankly, and they're they're just the best. And oh, it's so great. Yeah, his, yeah, his speech pattern is so interesting. And yeah, you absolutely. have to think that David Peace like saw him and was like, okay, well that must be what it's like inside his brain. And then wrote the book in that way. But it was so great because I think um, there's a specific uh, post, post-match post interview clip yes. that, um, that I've showed you and we mm. should all link to it down below. But um, it's after like this huge game and um, a reporter goes back into, I mean, I mean, assume it's like the locker room and interviews five of the players and then Bill Shankly. Uh-huh. And it was so funny because at this point in the book, I'd been hearing these players described for 400 pages. And Bill Shankly is always like so inspirational. He says, you know, like, you're the champions of England and you're the gods among men. And like, you're one of the greats yeah. and all this stuff. And then you see them in this clip and they couldn't look sillier. I mean, they just look adorable because it's like the early seventies, late sixties, they've got in their tiny little shorts and they're like enormous hair. There's one guy who has a really, (laughs) Tommy Smith, who has a really empathetic storyline. Yeah. um, In that he's, he's like a rock to the Liverpool team. And then as he gets older, Bill Shankly plays him less and less. And it really hurts Tommy Smith's feelings. Yeah. Um, and this is one of the things where Bill Shankly, this is kind of like the flip side of his genius, is that being so pragmatic, he was sometimes not as empathetic to his players. Right, yeah. And it's the, it's the one downside you see because, yeah, there will be these players who are like MVPs, like win championships for him for years, and then one day he'll just take them off the first team. With no yes, discussion. Yes, not to pasture, basically, yeah. Yeah, and he's just like, well, you're, yeah, you're too old. And when they say something like, Bill, you know, like, what's what's your damage? Like, why? And he's just like, come on, you're you're old. You're, yeah, yeah, it's exactly. It's like, best thing for the team is the best thing for the team. And like, yeah. on your merry way. Um, and it, yeah, it's really striking. But Tommy Smith is one of those guys. Um, and he and Bill really sort of struggle towards the end of his career as to whether or not Tommy should be playing. And um, and you like there's a there's a game where like they go down to London to play in a game and Tommy finds out that he's not going to be starting. So he leaves the game and takes the train back to Liverpool by himself and just sits on the train crying. Yeah, because he's like realizing that he's not a starter for Liverpool anymore. So you really start to love Tommy Smith in the book. And then you see him in this video. And he's got like a walrus mustache, the world's worst like haircut. Yeah, it's like he looks pretty amazing. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, Tommy. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's not how I envisioned him at all. I know, and I I was glad that I had not seen that before. I read those passages where he's a tragic (laughs) hero because I just would have been like, come on, on. this guy. Captain B over there? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm glad we read this one. I think this is a great first one. Yeah. Book report loves red or dead. Yes, yes, we do. (laughs) There are different um, divisions, like first division, second division, and third division. Yeah. There are different. They're real creative book names. Yeah. (laughs) You follow me? Um, Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. (laughs) Take, Take it down a notch. 